Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and I think I'm back. Hubby is doing a lot better today. We spent last night just watching movies and hanging out, and we ate, well, I don't even know what I cooked. I don't even remember now, <laughs> but we ate, I think it was barbecue chicken. Yeah, that's what I cooked. So we ate together and just sat and watched movies and talked, and I think he's doing a lot better today. He's not sick at his stomach anymore, which is a great plus. I appreciate all of you and all of your sweet comments on, uh, let's see, I got them on Facebook, I got them on Instagram, I got them on YouTube. Thank you all so much, and thank you for your prayers. He really appreciates it, too. I tried to get him to come on here and talk, but he won't do it. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to get back to doing some videos today because I have lots to catch up on and I want to do some videos because as I've told you guys before, this is my therapy right here. Doing videos and crafting is my therapy. That's what gets me through the days. So these are some things that I saw on Natasha and I think her channel is Treasure Books. I'll link it below. She did these a little while ago, and I thought they were so cute. And I've got tons of book pages, and so I thought, why not make some? I've got lots of scraps, lots of book pages, just lots of odds and ends that I needed to put together, and I think they're cute. They just, you know, and you can add more things to them if you want. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. It's just little things that can go in your journals. Let me grab a journal, and I'll show you. You could put them... You know in the front of your journal you could put them on a page you could use them as pockets you can make them any size that you want to that's the good thing let's just say this one right here could go on this page and you could glue it here and here and leave this open for a tuck but in that cute that pink with that and I'm just using some of my scraps that I've got in my stash over here and oh in that that journal i know you'll probably see that that journal is purchased and i will get it out to you just as soon as possible i know you know who purchased it so we're going to make some of these and i think she called hers book page um uh, using book page to make ephemera something like that i don't know what i'll call mine probably throw together scraps that sounds like good <laughs> oh me but we'll just use some of these little bits and pieces that I've got laying around here. Now, these are just some scraps that I pulled out, and I've got some that are various sizes. Of course, if your book page is huge, you can tear it down. You can do different things. You don't have to make them as large as I did. Just tear them down a little bit if you want to. You can also use like glossine bags and make them if you want. You can put them on the bags. You can put them on envelopes. And I'll show you, let me get a book page, and I'll show you how sh I tear mine. I think that's similar to what she tore on hers, but let me grab a couple of book pages that are, I like the ones that are all, have writing on both sides. That way you don't have any white areas. So I'm just, now, before any of you haters out there decide you want to comment on me tearing up books these books were destined to be burned they were just pieces of books so i rescued them and i'm using them in my journal so if that's not your thing and you don't want to see a book being torn up then don't watch this video that's all i can tell you but i say if we are using them then we're rescuing them because they were going to be burned in an incinerator it was just torn up books and pieces, and I went to my library and rescued them. All right. Now, these pieces, yes, I will use. So nothing goes to waste around here, as you guys know. All right. You have something that looks kind of like this. And like I said, you can tear it on down if you want to do smaller pieces. Like if you wanted to put something on this one, then, of course, you would want it torn down to be smaller than this. And then she just folded them. She just kind of put her thumbs like that and just folded them so you just kind of fold them in a little cross section there that's folded a little bit much so I'm just going to tear a little bit of that off and then I'll probably just cut a little of that and a little of that and I kind of form mine after the fact 
she she is really good. Natasha is really good at forming hers <laughs> when she first tears them. But um, sometimes I have to form them after the fact. So I just fold and then I form like I want. There's no right or wrong. Just do it like you want to do it. Thank you, Natasha, for doing such wonderful videos. I hope you don't mind that I share some of your videos with my in my content. I like doing some of the things that you do because I like these for my journals. Sometimes we run out of ideas for our journals, don't we? And we need someone else's guidance. Now this is just out of an old um, planner. I had a planner sent to me a few years ago and this is out of that planner and you can see on the back side I've got a little bit of writing. I used the planner and then I saved it because these pages are so pretty. These were the divider pages. Now I'm going to cut this August off right here. Don't need that on there. You, and you could try to peel it off but I tried to peel one off yesterday and it didn't peel so great it tore so I just cut it off like that. Now that I'm going to use this whole thing because this is not but four and a half by seven so that'll go on my page great and then I can still use it as a side tuck if I want to and I like these little places in there. Now I'm going to round the corners because I like that look but you could leave them squared off if you want. You could also use your little punches to do some decorative punching on the edges if you wanted to do that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and ink around the edges. Just kind of finishes it off. And two, I wanted to kind of cover up that white that's on the edge there. And then, this is the book page, and she kind of lays it down like this, but she puts other things on here. So we're going to add something else to this. And I just kind of go through what I have laying around on my desk. I mean, I've got... I know you're like me. You have all kinds of things laying on your desk. I just kind of pull out some scraps and work with what I have. I don't want to cover up all the flowers, so I might just put a part of this on there. Yeah, let's let's see. Where's my ruler? And I think. I'll use this side of the ruler. This is kind of torn a little bit more jagged than the other side, so I'm going to use this side of the ruler and see if I can tear this. This is pretty thick, but it'll work. There we go. It's not exactly the same, but it's better than tearing it straight. Now, those rulers come three to a set, so you can get all three and then they have double sides so really you're getting six let's see I think that's the way I want that like that now I was thinking that I might want something underneath that so let's let me think a minute what would I put underneath that this is a little piece of tea bag and I like to rough the edges up real rough don't mind if it even tears that doesn't bother me and then lay that in there like that. And yes, I'm covering a little bit more of the flowers, but that's okay. We'll get all of that back. Don't worry about it. Now, I'll, I'll lay all this down before I start gluing. Now, on this, you can just glue it together if you want, or you can use some threads or um, lace, trims, whatever, to go around and make a little tie if you want. I think I'll use some of this right here so what are you guys up to what have you been doing the last few days I think it's been ooh, three days since I filmed I think it's been three now that's not a gorgeous bow but I don't even know if I want a bow let's just do it this way I'm just going to wrap it around. I'm not going to make a bow on it. I'm going to wrap it like this. And then we'll go to the back side. And then I'm just going to use some washi to hold that on. But you could use just regular tape if you wanted. Just put a piece of regular tape on there. Just something to hold that together while you put this down. 
All right, so that will go like that maybe. Okay, and then we'll decide what we want to put on top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing these pieces. And I left my glue open last night. I was out here trying to do a little bit of crafting after he went to sleep. And so <laughs> I got tired and I left my glue open. So if I have to stop every so often and redo it, open it back up, you'll know why. I just, I left it. Okay, I think I'm going to go down with this like that. I don't want to put them even. See, that, that makes such a pretty edge. You use those rulers. And I like that little crinkled up part right there. And then this, I think I want to put it more that way because we don't want to put it over this way because we've got so much going on here. I want to put it turned a little bit this way. And I just glue down the edge, down the middle middle edge. I just glue down the middle, not the edge. That way if I want to stick something under, to tuck something under there, I can. And then sometimes I'll go ahead and put glue here if I want to hold these down. On this one I'm going to hold it down since it's going to be a big one. Now you just decide what you want your focal point to be. Do you want it to be a butterfly? Do you want it to be a flower? I mean what do you want your focal point to be? So let me think a minute. Let's see you can always come back and tuck some flowers in in different places if you want to. I don't think I'll tuck that one in, but let's grab our flowers and see if there may be one that we want to tuck in there. You know, we could just do that there. I hate to put, I want to tuck something under there is what I want to do. Natasha did that on some of hers and it's really pretty. Um, so, let's see. I'm a looking. Okay, I think I'm going to cut a piece of this flower off and I want it to go, whoops, I want it to go right here. And I think I want this little tag right there. I'm just going to tuck it back up under there and I'm kind of turning the edge of it up. And that's how I'm going to glue it down. Just to give it a little bit more interest, I want to close up some of my white areas. I'm not a big fan of white areas. So I'll tuck that back up under like that. And you'll still see the back, but I will have this little piece glued in here. And then I'm just going to roll this little edge around. And then I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it just so it'll stay rolled. When you, know, you put it in your journal, you don't want this to flatten back out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue in there. There we go. So I'll let you see that. And I'm going to have to hold it for just a second while it sticks down. Okay. And then I think I'm going to cut this flower apart. Like that. And then I'll put it here. And it'll just look like it's peeking out like the other flowers. That's why I don't glue all of the edges of this down, because I like to tuck little things underneath there. Now, a lot of you that haven't done a lot of crafting or junk journaling may ask, what is the purpose of that, just sticking all of that stuff together? Well, the purpose is you have another embellishment to go in your journal. It's just a different additive to your journal. It doesn't have to make a lot of sense. Just, just put something extra in there. All right, I, I want to put, I think, a little butterfly tucked in there. If I can find one that's the right size. No, as you know, a lot of times life doesn't even make sense. So, same with your crafting. It, if it makes sense to you, and if you like it, then do it. And if it doesn't, then don't do it. 
it's yours. It's not anybody else's, so it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks about it anyway. Okay, I'm going to grab my little Tim Holtz goodies here. And I may even just put one of my labels that I... These are some that I stamped the other day. We just tuck that through there. Oh yeah, I like that. That's not a problem. These are just some that I stamped on a video, and that video is right before these. If you just look into my videos, and if you're looking for something in particular, go to the search bar and just type in stamped, and that's all you have to type in, and it'll pull up you anything that has stamps in it. Excuse me. Mm. Lost my voice there for a minute. It'll pull up anything that has stamps in it. So just just do that if you're wanting to find something in particular. And then I like just putting little tiny pieces like this. Just little pieces around in different areas. And some may say that I go a little bit above and beyond. That's okay. I like it that way. Now let me grab the journal. And let's just say this page. Well, can't, can't get a hold of it. So I would put that down like that and I would glue it here and here. And I'd still have a big tuck or you could glue it here, here, and here and have a big pocket in there. And that's just another way to embellish your page. So, like I said, make these any size that you want. That just happened to be a scrap piece that I had laying around. Now this makes would make a pretty tag so I'm not going to use that one for this. This is kind of a plain background. It would probably make a pretty tag but I'm thinking I might use it for this or I'll tell you what let's just do an envelope. This is just an envelope and I had in my stash. Let's see if we want to put anything here and this is just some extra scraps that I have that I didn't want to put in my little scrap holder because they were torn in different ways so I wanted to use them here. Ooh, sorry about that scrub in there. I might use that. Just put that on there. And then we may even put a little piece of this is just a little torn piece of doily. And we could put that one down like that. Now see this one I actually bent it this way and then I bent this one back over this way to give it a little bit more shape. I'm going to glue this little piece to the back because I want that torn off like that. And then I would put this one down this way. Took these little pieces underneath and glue those down. You'll still see lots of this. I like that so far. Now, I think I'm going to try to tie this with a piece of burlap. So I'm going to cut a little piece of burlap. This is just some scrap burlap that I've had in my stash. So I'm going to try to go around this one with some burlap. So let's start on the back. And like I said, you can glue these together. You don't have to put anything around them. I just, I liked how Natasha put the different strings and ribbons and things around hers. I thought it looked really cute. Some of them I did, some of them I didn't. But I like this because it's got the extra little strings hanging off. And this is just a good way to incorporate book pages in your journal. Just a good way to use them. And if you don't have book pages, go to your local library and just ask them, do they have any books that are bound for the trash? And I guarantee you they'll tell you yes, because they did me. And they just gave them to me. They said, here, if you'll get them out of our way, you can have them. And I said, I will definitely do that. I'll get them out of your way. And so I just grabbed them and brought them home with me. Some of them were just bits and pieces, but who cares? We use them anyway. If I can give it a new life and keep it from being thrown away, then that's... That's my purpose. Okay, let's see. I'm just looking through some bits and pieces here. See if I got anything else that I want to include on there. I might include that. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm going to put that down like that, and I'm just going to glue it right in the middle. I'm not going to glue on the edges. That way I can put it down and still add some things to if I want to. Okay. All right. We'll take this little piece of doily and tuck it in there. Let's glue that little piece of doily down. This is almost like just making clusters, only you're making it on a page or a, and in this case, we're making it on an envelope. Now these are some flowers that one of you guys punched out for me. And I'm thinking that this one might go right there. Ooh, we need a different color. What about green? We need something that'll stand out. Yeah, I think that'll stand out. I'm going to glue this down since I'm going to be putting that flower in there. And I'm going to run him right down through here. Like that. And I don't even think I'm going to cut any of this end off. I think I'm going to run it all the way down through there. Like that. And then we'll put a little glue up here. And sorry if my hands are shaking. That's just... That's me some days, and this just happens to be a shaky day. Not that I'm upset or anything. I just have shaky hands some days. Some days, I don't at all. But then there are others that just, they tend to shake, shake, rattle, and roll. All right, there we are. And then I'm just going to cut that little tiny piece off right there because it's going to end up just falling off anyway. So we'll cut it off. And then I think that's a little much on that side. So let me grab, I think I want a stamp maybe. So I have stamps in here. Okay, I think I'm going to put that stamp on. And these are just some stamps that I tore off of some packaging that I got from you guys. I don't think I want to cut it with Mickey Mouse scissors, so let's find the real ones, the other ones. Yes, I do have Mickey Mouse scissors. They're my granddaughter's, but she keeps them in my tool pouch over here, which is fine. They're Brooklyn's. Okay. And this one is... Where did this one come from? I mm, can't really tell where it came from. Teeny writing and it's been stamped over, so we'll just tuck that in like that, I think. Or maybe, let me see. I have to do different areas just to see what it looks like. I like this and that. It's kind of crossways, so that's better. Let's do it that way. There we go. And then I want a little label that kind of comes out across here. Let's see what we have in here. Just maybe, maybe a number, just a number or a label. Doesn't matter. Let's just do a little black number. These are from Tina Shabby Dabby Doodah on Etsy. That's where I get my number labels. Turn this this way, since we've got that one going that way, turn that one that way. And then there is just another, and we could also put something on top of this if you wanted to. You could put a tiny little butterfly on there, you could put a different little flower on there. You could do some different things, if you wanted. It's just up to you how you decorate them. But I think I'm going to leave that the burlap showing on that, and then I've got, still got an envelope. I can put this down in my journal, leave this. I may even cut that flap off and just let that be a pocket, a side tuck pocket. So there's another. All right, I have one more here. 
and well I really have two I think I want to do a tag with one and then I want to use one of these silverware pouches um, let's see I may even use let me grab one that Katie sent that is colored she sent some that are already dyed yeah let's use that one you can dye these of course but I haven't dyed mine but she did dye some and send to me and I want to use this side but I don't want it that long so I'm going to turn this up. Let's see how long I want it. Uh, about seven inches is what I need it because if it's any longer than that, it's going to stick out of my journal. And then if I put this on there, all right, I'm going to cut this little piece off at the bottom and I will use that for a little tiny pocket in our journal. See? So I'm not going to waste that. And then this part right here, I'll either stitch up or right now I'll glue it and then I'll probably stitch it later. Just put a little strip of glue down through there. There we go. Now we'll use this as a nice little pocket and we'll put this on there. Okay, since we're going to use this for a pocket, I think I want to put a little band or something around it just to give it a little bit more interest. So let me grab something to make a little band out of. Let's just use this piece for a little band. This is just a little piece of book page. Okay, so some of you may be watching that uh, commented on Melina's video that she put up yesterday and you might have got a email from me where I commented under your comment. <laughs> you know, the mama bear comes out in me every so often. There was a lot of comments that I thought were very uncalled for on her video, and I didn't appreciate it. I, I know you guys never do negative comments. You don't do on mine. I hope you don't do on hers, but, um, and it may, may have been somebody that doesn't even watch my videos. I don't know. There was quite a few negative comments on there and it kind of it hurt her feelings she messaged me last night up until about 11 o'clock she was upset and i just it of course it tore mama up because i can't stand for my kids to be upset and she said mama i just don't understand it she said i try so hard to please everybody and i, I can never please everybody i said baby you'll never please everybody never ever in a million years no matter how hard you try, you're just not going to. So I said, the thing that you've got to learn is just to not even try. Don't try to please everybody. You do what you want to do, and if they like it, okay, and if they don't like it, then go watch somebody else. I mean, that's the way I feel about it. If there's something on my videos that you don't want to watch, then go watch somebody else. Don't watch mine. I love it when you do watch mine, and I appreciate every single one of you, but... There's nothing that says that you have to watch my videos, especially if I put up something that you don't like or you don't, it's not in your interest, then don't, don't watch it. Don't feel like you have to. But if you don't like it, don't make ugly comments about it. Don't, or negative comment. I won't say ugly. They weren't really ugly, ugly, but they were real negative. And, you know, we work hard <laughs> to make this content. And... I don't know. It's just people just seem to not care. So if I commented to yours and I come back with a little bit of negativity there toward you, then I do apologize if I hurt your feelings. But, uh, you know, you hurt mine and Melina's. So. <laughs> now, comment on my negative all you want. All you'll get from me is just a heart and I go on I, and I just ignore you. Or if it's real negative, I delete you. So you're not going to bother me. But don't do it to my kid when she's trying so hard and just starting out with all this. Now, I did put some string around that. But now that I look at it, I think I might want it tucked in like that. I like that look. So let's do that. I'm just going to leave the string on there instead of taking it off. It's already glued. So anyway, I didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but, you know, we do these videos out of the kindness of our heart. We don't charge you anything for them. We don't 
ask you to subscribe to or nothing. And, you know, if you do subscribe to anything and, and donate a little money to us, we do appreciate it wholeheartedly. But it's not required. You don't have to do that to get our content. Our content is completely free and will be free as long as I have anything to do with it. But I just appreciate it if you'd be a little bit more sensitive. Not, And I'm not talking to you guys in particular. Like I said, I don't think any of you would have left those comments. I just... If there is one that's watching that did leave them, then just know that if you don't like a video, just turn it off. Don't, don't, uh, don't leave a comment, a negative comment about it. Just turn it off and go on and watch something, somebody else or something else. You know, we don't always make a video that's going to please everybody. I know, I know I don't make videos that pleases everybody. And I don't try to please everybody. I just try to please the majority. And I make what I like. Look at that. I like that. Is that not cute? <laughs> I'm saying my own stuff's cute. All right. Do y'all think this needs anything else on there? Hmm. I could have inked here, I guess, around this. It would have helped it stand out a little bit. So let's raise that up and do a little bit of inking. And I might put a label across here. Just some sort of little label. Doesn't have to be anything real big. That's a cute one. That's from Katie. And I have a couple more freebies that Katie has sent. That I'll be loading up probably. Let's see. I'll probably load those up this weekend. And you guys will be able to grab those. And I'm not sure which ones they are, but it, I'm pretty sure they're labels. I like that. And then you can make a little tag to go down in here. This long skinny tag. And you've got another cute one. Okay, let's make this one into a tag. And I'm just going to cut my tag the size that I normally do. Three and a half. And I'm not going to worry about the length. It doesn't matter. I, I use tags of all heights, I should say. And then, I think I'll go ahead and cut this into a tag shape. You don't have to. You can just round the corners or cut the corners off. Or just leave it squared up. I'm just going to cut mine off like that. Then we'll go ahead and put... And see, the back is already white, so we don't have to worry about putting anything on that. Now, I do like to round these corners just a little bit at the bottom. It makes the tags slide in and out a lot easier. They don't get caught on everything. So if you're having problems getting your tags in and out, if they get caught, then just round the corners just a little bit at the bottom. That'll help them. All right, now let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and punch with my little, this is a ribbon punch. Let's see where the, I think I moved it the other day. Yeah, that'll be okay. Punched a little opening there. Okay. Then let's grab our little piece here. Now this one's going to be too tall, so we're going to tear it off. I'm just going to open it back up, and then I'm going to tear across the bottom like that. And then I'll ink that back up. And I may have to tear across the top. I don't know. I'm going to refold it because where I had it folded, you once I tore it off, you couldn't see this bottom part, the extra layers there. So I just refolded it and then I'll re-ink it. Now you don't have to ink yours. So don't say I can't do that because I don't ink because you don't have to ink it. I like inking it because I like inking book pages. Now I'm just going to make sure that I press these folds down really well. Now, let's see. You know, I like how that looked a minute ago by tucking it in the little piece there. So I think we might try that again. Now, this is a little piece that Katie had around some packaging that she sent to me. So let's see if we can put this around there. You know, I don't waste anything. 
Yeah, I think that's going to work. Katie, look at that. I like to repurpose everything. Now, on this back, it's going to have that little bit, but I, I don't care about that. That's not, that doesn't matter. But that's going to be cute. You can also do this with ribbon and cover it over with ribbon if you wanted. Close, close it up. Don't have to do it this way. Now, I'm going to glue this down just a tiny bit just because I don't want that to slide off. Oh, I like that. I like that. And then that will tuck under there. And then we could put something else right here, like a little butterfly or something. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue. And I'm just going to put some right in the middle. Like that. Then let's grab, let's see, do we want a bird? We might want a bird. It's a bird. It's a plane. Um... Let me see if I've got one that's going to go the right direction. Nope, don't like those colors. Nope, I don't think a bird's going to work. Maybe, maybe a flower. We might just tuck a flower in there. I like that. Let's do that. That is also a little flower that Katie sent. She cut these out for me and sent them in a little package. And if you wondered who Katie is, I know I say Katie a lot, and some of you guys are like, who's Katie? Katie is a sweet, sweet friend, and she's also one of our designers. She designs lots of the free digitals that you guys get. And she's just a sweet lady. She sends me freebies every so often, and she sends me little gifts, and she cuts out things for me. And I mean, she's just, she spoiled me rotten. Look at that. I love that. I mean, it's just, it's simple, but it's pretty to me. I like that. Let's see about this little, well, that little label will get lost. Let's see if we've got a little label in our Tim Holtz or something that I have stamped. I think we can go with that little label and just put a little ink around the edges so it stands out a little bit more. And this is from the Tim Holtz, um, Couture Ephemera. We have that in the store. There we go. I'm going to put it like that and just tuck it right in. Isn't that cute? Now that is a pretty tag. Now I'm going to get some seam binding. I have to use some of Erin's seam binding. And this is the collection called Kiss of Fall. Erin, I think Melina just ordered my daughter just ordered some seam binding from you. I will have her Etsy store linked below. I like to have never got that out. And so you go over and check her Etsy store out. She has beautiful crinkle seam binding, all flavors. But look at that. Isn't that cute? There's a nice little tag. Okay, guys, that is it, I think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you give these a try. If you do, please make sure that you go over and share it on our Facebook page. That link is directly below. We would love to see what you come up with with your book page ephemera. That, look how many we made. And I did make a few last night, I will have to admit. But we made quite a few, too. And then I talk most of the time, so... But that is it. I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we have a big surprise coming up soon. But you have to be a subscriber in order to be entered. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.